Hi everyone, it's Casey. Today I am going to be experimenting with my new custom Blythe. So this is my newest girl. I just finished her yesterday and um, I haven't done her hair yet. And so I wanted to experiment with something I wanna try, which is making a wig. And there's all kinds of ways to make wigs, but I'm going to try to use glue because I want it to be faster. <laughs> um, so you can buy or make your own wefts of hair in different fibers like mohair or whatever fiber you're using and then sew them onto a wig cap. But I really don't wanna go through that much work. So what I wanna do is just glue um, the mohair directly to the wig cap. So if you're watching this video, then it worked. Um, and it looks good because it's going to be kind of an experiment as I go along. So this little girl um, currently, she um, was, I think it's raspberry sorbet. I don't know, it's raspberry something. She came with, her factory hair was this brown hair and I didn't really like it. I like to do pretty fantasy colors and, and whatever. So I knew I was going to change her hair. Um, originally, I didn't know what hair I was gonna do, but I didn't want the brown. So I've put a blank scalp on her. I glued it a little bit in the back just to make sure that it doesn't come off, although it's fitting pretty well on her. Um, and then I'm going to, as I said, make this wig for her and I may attach it permanently. I may not, I haven't decided. So because it's an experiment, I don't actually want to make the wig on her. So I've prepared a different doll. Um, I had this dark skin doll that was already bald and ready to go, um, a fake doll. So I thought I will just do it on her. And then that way, um, if I get any glue on the doll or make a mistake, I won't hurt the custom. So that's what we're gonna do. And then when it's dry, hopefully it will fit this girl and it will look good. So what I bought to do this project, first I have an old wig cap that's Blythe size. It's 1011. Um, and it had hair sewn to it and I decided just to take the hair off it seemed like a cheaper and less labor intensive option to just take the hair off that was on this wig cap than to create my own wig cap. So I had started out thinking I would sew my own wig cap, but um, that sounded like a lot to try to figure out when I could just take the hair off of this one and it's the correct size and ready to go. But as you can see, wig caps have holes in them, so the glue will go through. So that's the main reason I don't wanna do it on the doll, the um, my custom, because I don't wanna accidentally get glue on her, even though I am going to cover this fake doll that we are going to use with saran wrap to protect the fake doll too, because I really don't wanna ruin that doll either. Um, but I didn't want the saran wrap reacting to the custom face up in some way. So that is why. So I'm gonna put the saran wrap around this doll. And I have her standing in my um, tool holder because it's heavy and I think it will hold her in place. And then I'm going to put a rubber band around um, broken rubber band. Let's see if I have another rubber band. I'm going to put a rubber band around to hold the saran wrap. You could probably use tape to um, just want to hold it. Okay, so that will protect the doll. And then we will put the wig cap on. And I would make sure that it's on um, pretty well and in the position that you expect it to be when it's on the finished doll, mainly because 
you want to make sure you're putting the hair where you want it to fall. So that looks pretty good. And also that it's pretty tight so that you don't have any bubbles when you glue the hair. So I'm hoping that this will be, I don't know if I'll need to move the camera so you can see. Um, it's probably gonna be a very slow process, so I might just work on it and then speed it up. And hopefully that gives you a, a good enough view and I'll stop a few times to look at it. Um, so I ordered this beautiful blue hair. I will also put links to who I purchased mohair from below. This was the color that I wanted. Um, I think it's going to look really pretty with the clothing that I've chosen for her. Originally, I was hoping to have this doll done by Halloween and I sort of learned over the years that I shouldn't plan to have holiday themed dolls because I never seem to get them done before the holiday. But I still really like this bat helmet. Um, and so I really like those colors, the yellow and the purple and the blue together. So I'm happy with, with how it's looking. But I also wanted to put some streaks of black in it. So my plan is that the majority of the hair is going to be this beautiful blue and I'm gonna put some streaks of black. Um, so we'll see how that goes. I ordered this hair from two different places. Um, this hair, it came from overseas. I can't remember what country now. Um, and so it took a while to get here. And then when I decided I want, wanted black, I didn't want to wait again. So I ordered from somewhere in the US and then they sent the wrong one and it got all mixed up. But I did eventually get what I needed and I probably could have reordered from here and waited um, now that it's taken me so long because this hair is, is gorgeous. The color, it's so soft. Um, it looks like it's pretty um, well stained together. So the part that's hard about what I'm going to try to do where I'm just going to hold a piece and glue it um, is making sure that the hair doesn't just fall and completely fall all around you and you don't get any glued on. So that's gonna be my, my main issue, but it looks like it's holding together pretty well as if it's already kind of wefted on the end. So that might um, really help us along the way. I'm going to use this glue because it's one of my favorite glues. It's, um, hold on a second. Some teenage boys were just running by my apartment in masks, banging on things. So I hope that's not something that needs to be addressed. Um, this is my favorite glue because it dries very fast and I have never had it um, not stick really well for a lot a variety of different materials but specifically anything that's a fiber or fabric it is supposed to be for fabric but i've used it to glue plastic to fabric resin to fabric and it, it's just so strong and it dries pretty fast so that's what i'm going to try to use and then i just have a paintbrush that i'm going to use to apply the glue so the strategy that i have is that i'm going to apply some glue hold um, a piece of the hair and then glue um, some more on top and hopefully it will stick. Now I'm assuming I'm going to have to kind of do this in layers. I don't know if I'll need to do a layer and wait and let it dry to do another layer. So I'm hoping that I can just whip it out, but I might have to give it time to dry in some places so that I don't mess it up, but I'm not sure how that's gonna go. So we will assess the situation as we move along. So the other thing to think about um, with wigs is if you're planning to do bangs, and I am going to do bangs with her, so when you're doing bangs, you wanna make sure you do those um, forward and then move to the side as you, I don't know if you can see what I'm saying. You have to do the bangs facing forward and then do your part. Um, starting on the outside or the lowest part moving up to the top. So that's that's the strategy at this point. So let's get started. I think I'm gonna try to move the camera <clears throat> so you can see a little bit more face on and we will get started and see how it goes. Okay, I hope you can see without it being really distracting with all the things around me. Um, 
So we'll just see how this goes. I have put some glue here on a little piece of plastic and I have my um, hair here that I'm going to cut the rubber band off of so that I don't mess it up too much. And we're gonna just get started and I will try to update you as we go along. I think I'm gonna start here with the bangs. I'm not going to trim the bangs um, first. I'm going to just put them on with the long hair and we will come back and trim them after. So plan is here, as I said, to add some glue and I'm going to need to get as far down on the wig cap as possible. I'm not sure is how you know having this excess at the top if that um, will matter as we move along and I don't know how many layers to do for bangs because at some point you have to start going this way but I would think a couple of layers is necessary so I think we'll do another one and then we will assess. The other thing is, is I want to put in these streaks of black. So I think now would be a good time to make sure I'm adding a little bit of that open this yet it's definitely a different texture so I hope it will look good because I don't think there will be much going back if I don't like it I'm hoping when it dries I'll be able to brush um, that strand so it doesn't look quite so weird. Okay, so I've done two layers of bangs and I think that's enough even though it does look kind of still far down on the face, but um, I'm going to start going around the head. Once a day that I would pray for you I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too Sneaking looks up and down from across the room and Damn, what a hell of a view I feel good, you look great I like you, I can't wait A first time, a first day You're so fine, I'm so late You sip wine, I drink straight So now I've already used up one whole piece of my blue mohair So... The other thing to really consider when, when doing this that I don't know yet is how much mohair it takes. So I think when I ordered it, I'll, I'll put below what I ordered, but I ordered, I think, the, the max amount that they had in, in one um, listing. So I wanted, because I had no idea and I didn't want to run out. Um, so hopefully that's going to be enough. We shall see. Now, my plan is, again, to start parting the hair um, so the part line will go this way. And so 
eventually the hair has to start going that way, but I think we'll start working our way up there. worried about at this moment is I don't want the hair to be too thick and it seems to be getting already quite thick. Add a little black. I'm not sure if I'm liking the black. So I think I'm gonna start trying to do it a little bit thinner as we go. I just don't want this wig to be too heavy. Okay, as much as I would like to keep going, I have to take a break for the day. So I will, I might work on this more not on camera um, because I think it's pretty straightforward what I'm doing. I'm still not quite sure if it's going to work. It's getting quite large, as I said, and it's a little bit hard to tell um, what the top is gonna look like as far as is it gonna look neat. My plan is to thatch the hairline, which means to go along and kind of, um, not braid, but crisscross the part lines so that you can't see um, where it's been rooted or glued or whatever, because I'm not quite sure how the top of this is gonna look. Um, so I might work on this some and come back when I'm a little bit farther along and we'll see how it's going. So stay tuned for that. All right, so it's been a couple of days since I started working on this wig and let me see if I can show you where we're at here. It's gotten very full, fuller than I would like it to be, but I find that it's pretty easy to thin out, and so it probably will thin out as I comb it. Um, I like the way that it's looking underneath it, and the bangs look really good. I did try it on the doll. What I'm not liking, oh, what I do like about the glue is it's holding it very, very well. It feels very secure. I've combed through it and it feels good. But you can see where I've left off, where I'm getting close to doing the part line. The glue is very shiny. And 
I don't think that's going to look good along the part line. So I'm going to, I have a couple of ideas of what I would like to try to um, do the part line. I did try the thatching and that's what you do when you root the hair. Um, but it didn't really work because again, the glue is, is on a larger piece of the hair. So it doesn't fold over very easily. It didn't look right. Um, so I have a couple of ideas. The first thing I'm going to try is doing the part line with a different type of glue. I'm going to try an Elmer's, just a craft glue. I don't know what that looks like dry. I can't think of what it looks like. And I don't think it will be as strong as this glue, but if it's only for the part line, I think it will be fine. I'm going to continue using um, the other glue for underneath because it, it does look good once it's covered. You cannot really see it as you pull the hair up. So I don't mind as long as it's covered and I like its strength, um, but it's not gonna look good for the part line. The other thing I'm gonna try is, um, the way that I've been doing it is I put some glue on, I put the hair and then I put more glue on. I'm going to try on the part line to only um, do glue underneath and hopefully it won't show as much. So we're going to give it a try here in the front and a little experiment to see what's going to work because if the Elmer's glue doesn't work um, and still is showing in a way that I don't like, then we will have to try something else. I also thought about trying to root some hair. But with the glue, it's actually pretty hard and I think it will destroy the wig cap. So I don't think that's gonna work. And the point for me in making a wig was to not root and not take a, a bunch of time to root. Um, so I don't really wanna do that. So as I said, the first thing I'm going to try is a smaller amount of Elmer's glue and And this is where the part line is going to go. So let's see what the Elmer's glue looks like. And again, like I said, I think I'm gonna try not to do quite as much. just have to wait and see what that looks like dry. Elmer's glue dries pretty quickly. So hopefully if that looks good and you don't see a lot of glue, then I'll be able to finish down the top. So while we're waiting, we can work on the back with the other glue because there's still quite a bit back here that I can finish up. stop there because we're getting close to the part where um, the glue on the top will show as well so and as you can see um, the Elmer's glue is still white so let's see what that does um, I don't actually remember Thought Elmer's glue 
dries clear. Yeah, it's supposed to dry clear. So um, let's let it sit for a little bit and see what it looks like. I might do a little bit more on the top because if it works, that part will be done. So some of the, the harder glue underneath um, has made it a bit bumpy. So I think this first layer with Elmer's, I may have to touch up some of the spots that almost have little bald spots um, because I can't get under them. So I'll finish up the back and then I should have just enough hair left to do one more uh, pass along the um, part line if I need to. All right, we're gonna let the Elmer's glue trial dry. It's kind of hard to tell, but I think it looks better. It's definitely less noticeable in the front, even though you got that white a little bit still. In here, it's been it's it's almost dry, and that looks much better. So that is exciting. Let's see where we're at in a few minutes. Hi everyone. It's been a couple of days, and I've been sort of working on this wig sporadically. And I'm close to being done, so I wanted to fill you in on what worked and what didn't and what I've decided. So the first thing was that the doll that I, just, that I was planning this wig for, I decided I didn't like it on her. Let me show you her. If you remember, this was the doll I had planned to use the wig on, but I really wanted to make her holiday themed and it just did not look right. I was hoping it would look right with the blue in this dress, but I didn't like it. And when I put this green um, scalp on her, I knew it was the right fit for her. So I ended up um, completing her and she's going to be available hopefully this week. I went today to my storage unit to get my holiday stuff so I can maybe take some holiday pictures with her. Um, so she is done and ready to go as soon as I can get photos. And so I was a little disappointed. I mean, I love how she came out with the green hair, but I was disappointed that the wig as I intended didn't work out since I put so much time into it and money. Um, but I had a lot of fun making this wig and I'm considering maybe making more and having them for sale in my shop mainly because I myself have looked for this type of wig and have not been able to find it out there in the world. There is a seller that makes mohair wigs. Um, she or he, I'm not sure, is in China. And I've talked about their shop before because I've bought wigs from them, but they actually sew the mohair, um, the Tibetan mohair skins into a wig and oftentimes the hair is just way too thick um and i love their wigs but the hair is just so thick and i really wanted hair that would lay a little bit nicer and be a little bit thinner now this wig got thicker than i wanted but it's still um it it's still um what do i want to say it, it's still not as poofy as those other wigs and it definitely can be pulled down a little bit with uh, hair ties or something. And I think if I did it again, I could thin it out and not do such thick 
wet wefts because I think it would have been better anyway. This is the only hair that I have left to very finish some spots on this wig. Um, so it, I used up a lot of hair and I don't think I need to use that much. Um, so I think I might try again I, because like I said, I actually had fun making it and I do overall like the results, but here are a couple things that I learned. When we left off last time, I was talking about using some Elmer's glue because this glue was leaving the um, part line looking kind of wet and it didn't look very good. Um, you can't really tell underneath because the hair uh, falls over it so nicely, but you can see where, and I don't even know if you'll be able to see well because it really isn't bad underneath. It just looks a little bit wet and it didn't look good on the part line where it's visible. So I was trying out Elmer's glue and I did that and it, and it had stuck well, but I decided to comb the hair and wet the hair um, to get it to lay down and to get its curl back. And the water um, loosened the Elmer's glue and the wefts started falling off. <laughs> so um, Elmer's glue is not a glue and, and I didn't think about water when I was using the Elmer's glue, I would have realized you can't use Elmer's glue because it's not waterproof. Um, so unfortunately, I'm not quite sure here in the back where there might be some Elmer's glue still. So I don't think this wig is one that I will want to sell in my shop. Um, I consider it kind of a boo-boo. However, um, my next thought was instead of getting the weft with a lot of this fabric glue on it, I just got a little bit of glue on the tips of the hair. It's getting kind of dark hair, so I don't know how well you can see, but, and then I just glued the tips down and it worked beautifully. It's still not perfect because of the glue underneath, um, but it's so much better. So what I would do next time is I would continue to use this um, all the way around like I did, except maybe a little bit thinner um, wefts. And then when I get to the part line, I will use the technique of just getting the tips of the hair um, with a little bit of glue just to, to hide the part line because I don't want to do the tips all the way around because it would take a long time and the hair I don't think would be as secure. But just doing it along the part line, and you can see in the back I have a couple of spots right here on top that I would like to use up these little scraps on just to make it look as nice as possible. But I feel like if I did it again, I could do it much faster and um, much cleaner because it actually looks pretty good for all that experimenting. So that's kind of what I've learned. And through that process, if you remember, I was working on the wig on this doll. And um, it's almost as if <laughs> this doll wanted this wig because I realized that it would be really fun to customize her and have her have this wig and do a giveaway. Um, we are very close to the Christmas holiday. And if you've been following my channel for a while, you know I always do a giveaway around Christmas. And I rarely plan it. I, I'm usually at the very last minute um, getting something together for that. And so I can't promise anything, but I did this year or at some point want to give away a custom Blythe if we can get my channel to 10,000 subscribers. So I'm pretty close. I think it's quite um, a lofty goal to get to 10,000 by next month. But if you would share my channel starting now, um, I'm thinking if I can get her customized and I can get to 10,000 by Christmas, then I will give her away to someone on the channel. So I am going to get off of here and get started on her so that we can hopefully reach that goal. Um, 
And so come back and check in and, and see where I'm at with that over the next couple of weeks. And she'll come with this wig and I feel good about that, doing this wig as a giveaway since it was such a learning process. But again, I can't promise it's going to depend on what I can get done from now until then. But um, I will have some sort of giveaway even if it's not her. So I hope you enjoyed watching this. I hope it inspired you. I will link below to the shop I got this hair. I think it's incredible. I think um, it's perfect for this type of project. It worked really well. There are wefts that you can buy that are sewn and you could sew it on, but I, I really liked this gluing method. It actually went pretty fast um, considering it was my first time and I was kind of experimenting. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish the couple spots in the back that need a little bit of coverage and it will be done. And I guess I could show you also what it looks like off. It stays on really well, which is great. I've combed through it several times and haven't had much hair loss, um, which is good and bad. I was kind of hoping it would just thin out from combing, um, but it didn't. So in some ways that's good. It means the glue held very well, um, but in, you know, in the thinning, it didn't really thin much. So I, I would probably do the wefts, like I said, thinner next time, but it's beautiful and nice and firm. It stays on the doll well. It doesn't fall off without um, any sticky. So I'm really kind of happy with it. So look for these. I might have more. I'm hoping to maybe order some more hair from this seller and see what I can come up with. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it inspired you. Don't forget to subscribe, um, share my channel if you're able on your social medias um, or whatever, and we'll see if we can get to 10,000 this year. So thanks for watching. Bye everyone.